Hey, greetings and salutations. Good morning. Well, today we're going to go take a little adventure to a location that we were at. Actually, the kids and I were at back around um, Easter time. The reason why we're going back is because, A, my wife hasn't seen it. And B, because we need to drive to that general location anyway to go to the site that I want to go check out today, the Aiken Mine. That's in the Mojave Reserve, um, down in the Mojave Desert in California. Um, I'll put a link to the video that, um, that I made about the, the lava tube. It's up here. I might, I might videotape one short clip at the lava tube, but, and if you're ever in the Mojave Reserve, I highly recommend that you take the time to drive down that road from hell and go check out the lava tube yourself. It's actually pretty cool. And if you have an off-road vehicle like a Jeep or something, then uh, you can continue on uh, to explore the Aiken mine. That's where we're gonna go today. Right now, I gotta check vital fluids, make sure I got enough oil and all that, and happy hoo ha because I don't wanna, I don't wanna run out of oil in the Mojave Desert. That would really suck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the Aiken Mine. This is what they mined here. This is what they made. Cinder. Mined it out of these uh, lava cones to make uh, decorative rock. And this is the kind of rock that you'll find in your uh, barbecue grill. I have no idea when they ceased operations here, but I suspect sometime in the uh, 60s or 70s. I don't know, I'll do some research to see if I can find any information. They just left all the equipment here.
Hi, Debbie. Man, you talk about the middle of nowhere. You know, it's it's about five miles off the main road, uh, Kelbaker Road, to the uh, lava tube, and it's probably another mile or so to the Aiken Mine, where we're at currently. Mining operations were on the east side of this cinder cone, and look at the view east. nothing for as far as the eye can see. Somewhere out in that vast expanse is the Mojave Road, which is kind of referred to as the original Mother Road. That runs the full length of the Mojave Reserve, starting in Laughlin um, at the Colorado River and ending up way past Zizix, um, past Baker. Uh, it's 136 miles, I think and takes roughly four days to traverse. We're not gonna do that today. But we are gonna explore this place a little bit more. Let's go see what we can see. Let's go explore. If I had to venture a guess, I'd say that a Caterpillar engine up there on the hill came out of that. Apparently, they're hard on the equipment. Holy crap, look at this one. That's... That's pretty thick steel. It's like three quarter inch. Cracked. Newport Richie, Florida. <laughs> Look at Billy Goat. right there. Yeah, sometimes I wonder about these places and I'll look around and I'm trying to figure out the story. People made their living here. You know, people came here every day and and uh, they had co-workers and friends that they worked with and relationships were formed money was being made you know and then it just stopped and people were so busy with the day to day that they never stopped to capture any of it. Of course, when this mine was running, we didn't have GoPro cameras and cell phone cameras and you know, 24 seven connectability with the rest of the world. Well, this kind of stuff's pretty cool anyway. That would be cool yard art right there. Need a freaking crane to get it out of here. Sometimes you can look through some of the scrap. Not always, but sometimes you can look through the scrap and you can kind of date the trash that's laying around here and it can kind of give you an idea when things were 
in operation. Like you can find uh, beer cans. That's a good way to to uh, date something. Is if you can find like beer cans. How do you date something using beer cans? Well, by the pull tab, by the lid, by the can itself. Is it made out of steel or is it made out of aluminum? Tractor bit, probably a generator. Some uh, conveyor belt guards. Hmm. I would not be able to venture a guess. Uh, gas pump. How do I? Here, I'll turn you upside down. Gas pump. This is the part that gets bolted to the ground. That's a very well-worn grizzly right there. Those are recycled rails. Look how worn they are. Wow. Back over there by the bulldozer is a 70s era pickup truck bed. This looks like probably an old Chevy Love or a Zuzu pickup bed. Or, no, it's a, a Datsun. Oh, there's the rest of the gas pump, looks like, yeah. No, it's just a switch. Just a switch. There's a fender off an old truck. It's an old truck. Holy. Is there a dead body in there? Stop, Daddy. You're going to huh? make me get bad dreams. Is there a dead body in there? Ah! Mm -hmm. It's just the glasses. Mm -hmm. Nasty. <laughs> no dead bodies today. Mommy, well, that go? is interesting. Me, Stainless steel, braided lines. that it's like a top to some kind of tank you know what that is if you do comment in the comment section I have no idea what that is Rockwell let's see if we can identify this hood I say it comes off a of Chevy It's heavy, whatever it is. No, perhaps look at the front. Catalina. What do you think? Kind of hard to tell. Just, would you look at that? The Aiken Center Mine uh, closed in 1990.
apparently the owners of the mine leased it to, to companies who did the mining and at one point in 1990 they couldn't pay the rent so they just walked away I'll put a link in the description to the article that I found on the internet the website is called backroadswest.com I'd encourage you to go check that out I have no idea when this this blog was written but it doesn't look like it was too long after the mine shut down probably in the mid or late 90s you can get a comparison to how much of the uh, equipment has been removed over the last 20 or 25 years from that site. It's amazing to me how much metal has been salvaged from that site and um, it's kind of sad really. There's a series of pictures that are on that website and one of them is that Caterpillar diesel engine and uh, it looks like it was actually powering a generator uh, to run the crusher up there on the hill. The picture here is as clear as day. The air filter and the turbocharger and the exhaust pipe and the generator head, all that stuff is still on there. It looks like you could just put diesel fuel in this thing and a couple of batteries and fire it up. Interesting, but the place has been picked clean of all the copper, um, radiators. Uh, I'm amazed that there's anything left of that dump truck down there. But go check it out. Pretty interesting stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's little outdoor adventure to the Aiken Cinder Mine. I can check this one off the list now. Uh, there's quite a few uh, mining artifacts out here for the time being. Just remember, if you do come out here, to leave what you found for future generations. If you haven't done so yet, underneath this window is a button that says subscribe. It's big, it's red, click it, turns gray, I think. And then click that little bell icon that's right next to it and you too can be notified of future uploads. If you like this video, hammer away at that like button and share this with your vast social media network. If you didn't like this video, then smash the other one and share it with your vast social media network. Comments and questions down in the comment section because that's where they belong. Until next time, we have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep the powder dry, and have a splendid day. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.